Are you ready? This is uh, this next song is a story of an older man and an older woman who late in life had a daughter. And when she got to be about 17 years old, she got interested in boys named Bobby. We put a little melodrama in this song. Edsel, the banjo picker to my left, is going to play the old man. Now, the old man would sit around the house late in the afternoon picking on his banjo looking real mean. <laughs> I think you get the picture. <laughs> I'm going to play the old woman, and by the way, she did have a mustache. <laughs> now, the old woman dipped snuff, and late in the afternoon, and it ran down the left side of her mouth because she wasn't on the level. Late in the afternoon, she sat in a rocking chair, rocking, a dipping, and a dripping. One day, this pretty little girl went out and found her a boy named Bobby. Brought him in the house late one afternoon. I set the old man picking on that banjo, looking real mean. The old woman sitting there looking straight ahead, a dipping and a dripping. Little girl held that boy's hand real tight, looked at her daddy, and she said, straight ahead a dipping and a dripping and a rocking the old man looked back over at that pretty little girl and he said now daughter dear daughter you'll have to find another hate to tell you this but bobby wade is your half brother boy she run out of that house taking that boy with her later she found a sandy haired boy named Bobby, <laughs> brought him in the house late one afternoon. There sat the old man picking on that banjo looking real mean. The old woman sitting there rocking back and forth, dipping that snuff, dripping down the left side of her mouth. The little girl held that boy's hand real tight, looked at her daddy and she said, dipping and a dripping. The old man looked back over at that for a little girl who was holding that boy's hand real tight and he said, Now daughter, dear daughter, you'll have to find another. Hate to tell you this, but Bobby Quaid is your half brother. Lord, she run out of that house dragging that boy with her thinking, folk do I have that I don't even know about? About two weeks later, she found her a long, tall drink of water on a mountain type guy. About six foot eight, weighed about 240. Blonde headed, blue eyed. Brought him in the house late one afternoon and he was grinning ear to ear. There sat the old man picking on that banjo looking real mean. The old woman sitting there looking straight ahead back and forth a dipping and a dripping. The little girl hung on to that boy real tight, looked at her daddy and she said, Now daddy, dear daddy, don't you be afraid. Tomorrow I'm gonna marry my darling Bobby Slade. Boy, the old man looked over at her, the meanest he had in his entire life. All at once, the old woman quit rocking, reached up and wiped the snuff off of her mouth, twice. <laughs> Pointed a finger at the old man and said, quit picking that banjo and be quiet, I've got something to say. Well, she looked over at that pretty little girl who was trembling. By now, that long, tall drink of water on the mountain had lost the grin off of his face. Her mother looked at her and smiled. 